Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day in 1919 to honor the anniversary of the end of World War I. It became a national holiday in 1938. In 1954, the name was changed to Veterans Day to commemorate veterans from all wars. As of 2018, there are 18.2 million living veterans that served during at least one war. Of the 16 million Americans who served during World War II, about 325,000 are still with us now. As a doctor, he was drafted and he was awarded a medal for doing some sort of like gun wound surgery in a helicopter on a bunch of people. And he also helped a bunch of lepers on an island when no one else would. My grandpa served in World War II. Thank you to all the veterans who served. I want to honor my grandpa Max and he served in the Air Force. Thank you for your service and happy Veterans Day, everybody. In 2003, uh, my dad was part of the IRR, or Individual Ready Reserves, which means that he was a reservist, but not actively affiliated with the reserve unit. He had been working full-time in Boston, uh, Massachusetts, which is a software company. 
when he was activated. He received a promotion to major and was one of the first uh, troops to be deployed in Iraq. Uh, he comes from uh, a long line of service uh, with uh, the Vietnam era uh, uh, war. I have three veterans in my life. My grandpa, he served in the Cold War. My uncle served in the Persian Gulf War, and my other grandpa served in the Korean War. My dad uh, served in Afghanistan. Thanks for him and the other service. This Veterans Day, I would like to honor my grandpa, John Plesha, who served as a navigator in World War II and my husband, Logan Goldstein, who was in the military over in Afghanistan. Thank you so much, both of you. My uncle is a veteran, and he served in the Army. I'm so grateful for his service and everyone else that served our country. Grandpa was a veteran in World War II, and his name is Shen Chai Guo. My grandpa served in the Navy in Vietnam. My grandpa served in World War II. Happy Veterans Day. Grandpa Craig was in the Vietnam War, and uh, he served in the military and his arm got blown off. I'm not sure where my grandpa served in the Navy. My dad served in the Navy for nine years and he worked on submarines. And my dad still plays. Hi everybody, happy Veterans Day. Um, I want to honor my veteran. It's my grandpa, uh, Doogie White, formerly known as Tom White, and he served in the Vietnam War. My grandpa's name is Charles Farrell and he served in the Air Force. The veteran of my life is my grandpa, Gary Turner. Happy Veterans Day! I want to honor my grandpa, Ron Heilman. He served as a dentist in the Army, and he served at the U.S. base in Okinawa, Japan. My veteran is my dad. He's in the Marines. Uh, dad was, you know, he went there with his three brothers. He's the only one that came out. Um, but he, you know, he lives the truth every day. Um, and I love him. So, that's who uh, I would celebrate today is my daddy! Welcome to the MVC Memorial Hall. My name is Walt Tanimoto. I am an Army Iraq War veteran and the current commander of the MVC. I'd like to tell you how the Nisei Veterans Committee got started, or as we call ourselves, the MVC. Despite the Nisei's meritorious wartime achievements, the returning World War II Nisei soldiers faced racial discrimination and prejudice. They were rejected by some veteran organizations in the Pacific Northwest, such as the American Legion and the Veterans of Foreign Wars. For example, in the spring of 1945, Richard Naito, a disabled veteran, was recuperating from wartime injuries at a hospital in Spokane, Washington, but was denied membership in the local VFW because of his Japanese ancestry. Also in 1945, an American Legion post in Hood River, Oregon, removed the names of 16 Nisei soldiers from their honor roll. One of the names removed was that of Frank Hachia, who was killed in action in the Philippines and was awarded the Silver Star for his bravery. Due to racial discrimination and prejudice, a group of recently discharged Nisei veterans in Seattle who served in the 442nd Regimental Combat Team and the Military Intelligence Service established the Seattle Nisei Veterans Committee on 25 March 1946. Harry Takagi was one of the leaders in establishing the Seattle MVC, and in recognition of his leadership, he was elected the first commander. Early MVC leaders included Albert Lefty Ichihara, Shiro Kashino, Dick Setsuda, Bill Nishimura, Joe Nakatsu, and Joe Hamanaka and many others who gave the MVC a strong foundation that enabled the organization to thrive. One of the purpose of the MVC was to sustain the strong personal relationships that were formed during the war. These relationships served as a bond for members of the MVC and their families throughout their lives, even today. The MVC's constitution and bylaws were adopted on 2 June 1946, and the MVC was established as a veterans organization. 
Many of the founding members were fiercely independent, and the Constitution and bylaws required the organizations to be self-supporting, non-political, and independent of outside influence. Membership was open to any honorably discharged veteran who supported the patriotic goals and the aspirations of the NBC. The early membership of the NBC was made up of primarily those who had served in the 442nd because they had returned home earlier than many who served in the MIS and other armed forces organizations. Today, the NBC is made up of veterans who served from World War II through today's fight against the global war on terrorism. We work together to continue the legacy of the Nisei veterans through community and civic activities, social activities, education, and scholarship programs. Additionally, some of our members are still serving and the armed forces continue their legacy of the Niseis. From those who follow in your footsteps and this Sansei, we are here to honor you who fought for our freedom. Though it was many years ago, we still stand on your shoulders today. Thank you, Niseis. Oh, say can you see By the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. Those who seek freedom's free.